While real estate photography might seem as easy as grabbing your iPhone and snapping a few pictures, I can guarantee you there's more to it. And today's guest is going to dive in to the topic of real estate photography. Jared Beauchance with Quick Sell here out of Saskatoon. Hope you enjoy. You're listening to the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast, where we chat with real estate experts from across the province to learn what's happening in the real estate market. Here's your host, Ron Caroni. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Ron Caroni, host of the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast. And today we are talking about real estate photography. Jarrett, thank you so much for joining us today. You are joining us from Quicksell headquarters here in Saskatoon. So first off, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you, Ron, for having me. Uh, very happy to have you on today. Just before we get right into the questions about real estate photography, Jarrett, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and the company that you work for. All right. Yeah, I'm excited to make a pretty boring subject. Otherwise exciting. So a little bit about us. We're, we're a real estate marketing company, probably one of the fastest growing in North America. And our service is dedicated to high quality, quick turnaround and affordability. So we're basically just trying to be like the McDonald's of real estate photography. And currently we're serving Saskatchewan and Alberta. Fantastic. So just quickly, before we get into the, the question share, run me through how that process works. Like a realtor calls you up and they say, Hey, I need photos done. And you guys are just able to offer just a quick turnaround for them. Is, do I, do I kind of understand that correctly? Yeah, that's absolutely right. We, uh, we just go into the property. We, we do what we need to do. And then we get out and we have the photos come into you literally first thing next morning, we actually have an editor that works with us and he, uh, edits all throughout the night so that everything's ready to go first thing in the morning. Okay. So when that editor's taking, going through photos and we're, we're looking through what makes a good real estate photo. So I guess that's what we'll start off here. Uh, Jared, when we're talking about pictures for real estate, what makes a good photo? Well, just, just proper like photography etiquette, obviously. Right. So just making sure like all the lights are turned on, and everything uh, is tidy in the space. But what we, we, what we really focus on is just going in there, shooting the property as quickly and as diligently as we can, and then really emphasizing that really quick turnaround for the realtors because we know that speed is the name of the game in real estate. All right, Jarrett. So when we're talking about what is important to capture in a home, are there some big highlights that we would feature um, on the property? Or are there some pretty common ones? Obviously, Ron, that de depends on the specific property and it varies. Um, at the end of the day, you do want to get every single piece of the property in 50 photos or less. Right. But we would like some of the main ones might be like the outside of the home, the, the kitchen, if it has a nice bathroom. Or, or does that kind of depend on the condition of, uh, of said home and uh, said features? Obviously, yeah. Each individual home is unique to its own. So they all have different selling features, which obviously we would enhance or uh, emphasize. Is that something that is uh, kind of done by the, the, the photographer when you, when you guys send someone out to go shoot a home? Is it the ability to get all the pictures kind of wrapped up and then the realtor is able to kind of take those and, and choose the ones that they think are the best selling features? Um, no, that's, that's actually a really good question, Ron. What we do is we take all the photos and we uh, give them back to the realtor in tour order every time. Mm. Because if you notice on, you know, realtor.ca or even on the MLS, they always have the photos uh, in a specific order. What is that order, Jared? Uh, so first, you, obviously, you, you capture, you know, the outside of the property. And then, you know, going into the house, you got like the dining room area, then the kitchen area. Uh, you go up the stairs, you know, maybe the, we always uh, highlight the master bedroom first with like the bathroom. Uh, and then you obviously go downstairs, capture that. And then moving on, it's like the garage into the backyard. Awesome. So Jared, you're, you're, you're in the real estate for photography business, but, but more than ever, like these cell phones are incredibly powerful. They take great selfies. If you are trying to convince someone that, you know what, you can't just take photos of your home 
with your cell phone, like you should have a professional camera, a professional photographer. What do you say to them that, you know, they should not just use their phone? That's a really good question. Um, there's a couple of different reasons, obviously, right? Because if you're a realtor and you're taking photos with your phone, uh, the quality is not as good and it's costing you time when you could just pay a professional to do it and would, would really cost you less. So obviously, so for one, using a high quality camera equipment, the photos just, the quality is way better. And there's actually data that proves that when you market the property uh, the best possible way, it'll sell faster and for more money. And the second reason is sellers want to be reassured that as you're selling realtor, you know, you're going to do the best possible job to market their property, right? Because on average, they're paying about ten to $12,000 in, in realtor fees, right? So for a realtor to show up with the camera equipment themselves, and then shoot the property, go home and edit it. It's a, probably about two to three, maybe even four hours worth of work when they could actually be spending that time uh, working on their business, serving their clients, or just spending time with their family, right? So it actually just makes business sense to hire a photographer. And, and that might even tie over that if someone is thinking of privately listing, if they're not using a realtor, and they think, well, I'll also just save money on this by, by taking my own photographs. That, that logic would kind of carry through that it's going to take you time to take the photos, edit the photos, or the property is not going to look quite as nice as maybe you want it presented online. Absolutely. Wonderful. Uh, Jared, one thing before we get to your contact details, uh, I like to ask everyone who comes on the podcast this question. If you could go back to a younger version of yourself, uh, what advice would you give to young Jarrett? Well, I am pretty young right now, so I'd have to go back and talk to Jarrett in high school. And I would probably tell him that rejection is better than regret. Very deep. I like that. Wonderful. Okay. So Jarrett, people are looking for a little more information on Quick Sell. Is there contact details, uh, social media pipes? How can they find you? Yeah, hopefully you uh, you tag us on social media. And if anybody has any real estate photography related questions, um, we can put my number in the, in the details as well. It's 361-9080. Fantastic. Anything else to add on real estate photography, Jared, before we let you go today? Uh, no, I think we covered everything A to Z, Ron. Fantastic. Well, have a great day, Jared. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Ron. Thanks again to Jarrett for joining us on the podcast today and telling us a little bit about real estate photography. If you enjoyed this episode or found it informative, please hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Ron Caroni, your Saskatchewan mortgage professional. This has been the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast. If you like this episode, find more information and episodes on our Facebook and YouTube pages. If you'd like to be a guest or have a conversation you'd like to learn more about, let us know by messaging the show on Facebook. Thanks for listening.